We synchronize film cameras and analog lighting with off-the-shelf video projectors. Radiometric compensation allows displaying flexible keying patterns and other spatial codes on arbitrary real-world surfaces. Fast temporal multiplexing of coded projection and flash illumination enables professional keying, environment matting, displaying moderator information, scene reconstruction, and camera tracking for non-studio film sets without being limited to the constraints of a virtual studio. A standard HD camera is used to capture the scene. DLP projectors enable pixel-precise background illumination. An LED lighting system guarantees a precise temporal controllable scene illumination. The camera's composite signal synchronizes the DLP projectors as well as the LEDs at a frame rate of 59.94 Hz. The camera is applied for scanning the surface geometry as well as its reflectance offline using structured light projection. This data can be applied for special video composition effects such as occlusions and shadow casts but is mainly used for real-time per-pixel displacement mapping and radiometric compensation on the GPU during runtime. These image correction techniques widely neutralize the geometric and radiometric structure of the real background surface and lead to the appearance of a uniform keying background. In general, we encode keying information in the Y channel of P frames while the two chromacity channels, U and V, are used to encode additional code patterns. Every odd frame is recorded with analog illumination turned off and the background color being neutralized by the projected code images. In every even frame, the fully illuminated scene is recorded with the projection being turned off. Thus, the complete scene can be lit in an arbitrary way without degrading the keying quality. Our current prototype system records 720 P frames at the HD scanning speed of 59.94 Hz. Due to the fact that the images are captured time sequentially, consecutive images might not be registered during movement. To avoid visible artifacts, corresponding odd and even frame sequences are time warped by a factor of 2 in order to interpolate the intermediate frames. The radiometric compensation ensures a uniform appearance of the luminance channel throughout the spatially varying background surface and consequently enables an efficient separation of foreground from background. The computed alpha mats alone do not support the correct keying and composition of transparent objects. Therefore, the refraction of light through such objects cannot be simulated in combination with a synthetic background. The coordinates of the static background environment are encoded into the U and V channels to support correct keying of transparent objects for the simulation of refraction effects through environment matting techniques. Specular highlights on transparent objects that are located in front of background surfaces are lost, since they are not present in the initial alpha mats. We recover them by searching for pixels whose intensities are above a defined threshold in the masked image regions of iframes that contain transparent objects. We can also compute tracking features from the orthogonal U, V ramps by modulating them with cosine signals and computing the interference pattern of both modulations. Areas of constructive interference are found via blob detection and each area's center point is determined by averaging the weighted sum of interference signals within its blob region. The center points are used as tracking features. This is quite invariant to noise, defocus, and low ramp resolutions. If transparent foreground objects do not have to be supported, we can encode these features directly in either the U or the V channel. The other channel can then be used to encode visual hints for moderators. Since, in our case, this information appears mixed together with the data encoded into the other two channels, the image quality of presented visual hints is not very high but it might be sufficient for displaying simple and dynamic moderation information. One obvious limitation of our approach is that the video composition techniques will become less robust with an increasing amount of uncontrollable environmental light or with radiometrically complex background scenes. While keying remains robust in dark environments with controlled flash illumination, regardless of the background surface, 
It will fail more and more if the brightness of the environmental light approaches or exceeds the brightness of the projector. For bright environments, we therefore propose projecting a uniform keying color to enable true chroma keying rather than using the luminance channel for luma keying. Although this supports robust keying and camera tracking in bright situations, environment matting is not possible and keying is not completely invariant to foreground colors. We believe that all of these techniques can be carried out in real time when being implemented on hardware or being forwarded to existing video composition hardware. Investigating this belongs to our future work.